Tonight, a central Kentucky man is facing some expensive car repairs, and he blames the gas he bought at a Meyer gas station in Lexington. He claims that the gas was contaminated and it damaged his car. Now, Meyer is looking into claims from multiple customers. Jordan Vlines has the story new at 11. Pay for the gas, pump the gas, drive away. It's something we've all done a million times before. Stopped at Myers and topped our vehicle off with gas. Had no issues, drove it home, parked it. Something Jason Wade didn't so think twice think about last Saturday. Everything was running fine on the car. That is until two days later. We go out and start it and it's, it's just blowing smoke everywhere. It's, it was crazy. That's when Wade brought his SUV into the shop to be checked out. They just decided to drop the gas tank out of the back of the car and they're inspecting it and it's full of diesel fuel. The problem? His SUV runs on regular gasoline, but he says diesel fuel is what actually came out of the regular gasoline nozzle when he filled it up at the Meyer in Hamburg. This is a sample that uh, the Paul Miller service advisor gave me to bring with me, and it's, it's diesel fuel. It's what they took out of my fuel tank. Having to get his SUV repaired wasn't only irksome. Here's one of the spark plugs out of six, and they're clearly covered in, in the oil that's in diesel fuel, and they're, they're runt. Um, they had to replace them all. It also cost him a pretty penny. I know of several people that are having the same problems as we are, and this is a $1,400 bill we got to repair our car. The risk management representative at Meyer has verbally agreed to reimburse them, but they're still waiting on that check to come in, while they're also trying to get the word out to others whose cars may have also been affected by the mishap. In Lexington, Jordan Valines, WKYT. And today, Meyer released a statement about this issue, saying they have received complaints from other customers who bought fuel at the Meyer in Hamburg on Saturday. They say their investigation has not found any contaminated fuel, but they are still conducting tests.